if you stay to the end, we're working on the Spinnaker Bodiger. Uh, Azure is the blue color that this watch is. And it's like a really bluish teal. It reminds me of like an Easter color is what I would call this. Um, that's what attracted me to this watch. That and the indices on the crystal, not on the dial, really, really attracted me to this watch. Let's figure out how to get this plastic off. I know some of you probably hate this part. That's why I always put it at the end. But I know some of you love this part. So I keep doing it my way and hope that you guys continue to follow along. There we go. old man eyes it's hard to see where the stuff ends so we've got push deployant and then we've got um, three micro adjusts as well right now it's set to the middle setting trying to remove the plastic and the paper there we go um, got the Spinnaker logo on the actual locking clasp, not on the clasp itself. The clasp itself is just smooth. This is a stamped clasp, clasp with milled scissor deployment. Let's get the bracelet covers off. One side off. Every watch that's new to me, I'm like a kid in a candy store, man. Can't wait to get it on the wrist. And I'm shooting this video for the sole purpose of I want to wear it tomorrow. Uh, crown at the four o'clock, which is also always cool. Let's try it on and let's see how many links I need to take out of this bad boy. One, maybe two. So there's my wiggle room. Not much. I don't appear to have any half links. I dig it though. It's a super good looking watch. Let's wind it up. Screw down crown at the four o'clock. There we go, I'm ticking. Crown's got the Spinnaker logo on it as well. Okay. Let's get the tools. Let's follow the arrows. And the reason I said it's cotter pin is because there are arrows. Let me get it in the right angle for you. Right there. You see those arrows? That tells me that they are cotter pin type pins. So we're going to remove one from each side. Was hitting the plastic always happens to me. I need 
somebody to invent a better bracelet holder, a cooler one, or lead me to one that I can find that's cooler. Because uh, I have issues with this bracelet holder all the time, but it works, so I just keep using it, and I don't know any better. I've never seen a, a better one. Very tight tolerance. That link was pretty much stuck in there almost. Yeah, these are very, very tight. I almost feel like I'm going to mar the bracelet. back in we'll try it on first before I go any further just to make sure we're good and I can remove another one and it already feels pretty tight already uh, no I still got enough room okay so we'll do one more out of the way so I don't lose it. This side is, the tolerances aren't so tight. This one came out a lot easier and went back together a lot easier. <clears throat> All that stuff, I'm always judging. You know, I'm always looking at it as uh, the quality. If quality isn't exactly the same on either side, well, obviously there's, could be some QC issues. Could not be. I don't know, Spinnaker, this is my first time with this brand. But I did buy two of them, so we will have a second video, and I will keep my opinions to myself for now until I have more experience with this watch, because right now, I haven't even got to wear it yet, so I don't know much about it at all. But we're going to push this pin in further as well. There we go. Now let's try it on. Like a glove. So there it is on my eight and a quarter inch wrist. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. God bless.